Hi, this is Sean with Lux Landscape Lighting. Today I'd like to talk to you about lighting a flagpole with the American flag on it. So there are certain things you want to consider when you're lighting a flag. Number one is that it needs to be lit at nighttime. It's not proper to keep American flag up on a pole without it being lit at nighttime. So as far as the lighting techniques, typically it's going to be an up light where we light from the ground up to the flagpole. You could use well lights that are buried in the ground and light from the surface of the ground up. You could also use accent lights or what we also refer to as bullet lights. And those are lights that sit close to the ground that would shine up onto the flag itself. And I've even seen some companies make uh, fixtures that are attached to the light or to the flagpole. And those are typically put up at about 10 or 12 feet. So that kind of keeps the lights above eye level or head level, keeps people from messing with them, but shines the light up onto the flag. One of the things you want to think about is having multiple lights on the flag so that it's kind of a safety issue in regards to proper etiquette is if one fixture goes out, you have backups. So we typically like to use three lights and put them in a triangular pattern around the flagpole. That way, if one fixture goes out, you've got two backups. If another one goes out, you still have a, a third backup. And when you're lighting the flagpole, depending on the height of the flag, you want to control your beam spread. So if it's a really tall flagpole, you want a very narrow beam spread, like a 10 degree, so that will keep the light focused up onto the flag area. Also think about when the flag is in a wind and it's blowing, it's going to be reaching out away from the flagpole. So make sure that your area that you're lighting up on top of the flagpole will also capture that flag on a windy evening or windy night. So just to recap, Typically up lighting is the way to light the flag, multiple ways to do that. Next thing is to have multiple lighting fixtures so that if a light were to go out, you'd have backup lighting. And two, also by using the multiple fixtures helps light that entire area that the flag um, will be flying in, whether it's a wind from the west or the east, it'll be covered no matter what the weather conditions are.